Hey everybody, my name is Melody and I just wanted to take the time to say a huge thank you to everyone who has been so awesome to me since uh, posting the Jason Bottrell video. Um, I have absolutely loved reading through all the comments and uh, hearing from all the different fans who are telling me they feel the same way, so I'm glad you know it's not just Sabres fans who are miserable. Uh, also a huge thank you um, to everyone who has subscribed and shared my videos around. Um, that absolutely means the world to me. When I started YouTube, my initial goal was to hit a thousand subscribers and since then we've just blown past it and I think we're closing in on like 3,000 now. So that is incredible and that means a lot to me. So thank you so much to, to everyone who has subscribed and liked my videos. It's just, it's been, it's been awesome. So as a way to celebrate this milestone, I asked you guys to send me some questions so we could do a little Q&A. And you guys did not disappoint. You asked me some good questions, so let's get into it. How old are you? I am 25. Um, probably a little bit older than you guys might have thought. Um, I've always been told I look younger than I am, but yeah, 25, getting old. Would you rather have the Sabres win the Stanley Cup or the Bills win the Super Bowl? Ugh. <laughs> That's such a hard question. That's like asking a mother to choose her favorite child. I don't know if I can answer that. If I absolutely had to pick one, and it is like so 50-50, it's not even funny, but if I had to pick one, I would pick the Sabres to win the Stanley Cup for the sole reason that I think it would be more fun to celebrate a championship in June versus February. So that's literally the only reason, but I want them both so bad. Favorite Sabre, past and present? Um, well, since I was a kid, my favorite Sabre has always been Max Afinagenov. I was a big Max Afinagenov girl. I love that guy. And you know, I also, I really liked Soupy. I liked Brian Campbell. Nowadays, we don't really have a whole lot of choices. I mean, <laughs> obviously I love Jack. Um, I love Rasmus Dahlin. But um, if I had to pick one all time, I gotta go with my childhood. It's gotta be Max Finneganoff. Do you have a second favorite NHL team? I do. Um, ever since I was a kid, I've really been into the Colorado Avalanche. Just for no reason other than they're the purple team. When I was probably like four or five, um, I got to go into a toy store and I was allowed to pick one toy of my choice. And the second I walked in, I locked eyes on this hockey player, action figure, doll, whatever. And I wanted it because he was wearing a purple hockey jersey and it was, it was Joe Sackick. Since discovering that there was a purple hockey team, they were my team for a long time and then obviously I became a full-time Sabres fan, but I still like Colorado. This is my favorite jersey that I own. Joe Sackick. It's a good one. Great colors. At least I'll be able to watch Colorado in the playoffs this year. Do you have a favorite college, NBA, or MLB team? Uh, yeah, MLB. Uh, I follow the Cincinnati Reds. This is my second year being a Reds fan. Um, my whole life I was uh, a big Toronto Blue Jays fan and I hate to say this because there have been so many Leafs fans that have been so nice to me since I posted the video, but last year I was just getting so sick of the rivalry between the Sabres and the Leafs that I decided to ditch my lifelong allegiance to the Blue Jays and I ended up picking the Cincinnati Reds as my new favorite team. Um, sorry. And then college, I mean, my dad's big into the North Carolina Tar Heels, so I follow them. Um, NBA, I don't really have a favorite team. I just kind of follow the sport as a fan of the game. How do you choose which songs to use in parodies? It depends. Sometimes I get ideas from social media. Sometimes I get ideas uh, from listening to songs and hearing songs and thinking how they would relate to Buffalo sports. Sometimes I just get random inspiration from other places, so it depends. There's really no set way I do it. Have you thought about getting in touch with Dwayne for a collab of some sort? That's an awesome idea. For those of you who don't know, Dwayne uh, called into the Buffalo sports talk radio station and just went off. And I appreciate him so much because I feel like my video did really well because we were kind of all hyped on Dwayne. So huge thank you to Dwayne for that. In terms of a collab, I, I can get screaming 
if you get me going. So maybe we could do like a metal screamo song. <laughs> How long have you been playing guitar and what guitars do you own? Um, I've been playing guitar since I was nine. My dad is a guitar player, so he taught me. Actually, you gotta see my first guitar. It's awesome, it's a beauty. So this is my first guitar. It is a shark. It's seen better days. It's, uh, it's missing a string here, but yeah, th this was so fun to learn to play guitar on. It's so awesome. It doesn't have a battery in it, but if you were to turn it on, this eye would turn red. I mean, it's just, it's the greatest thing I've ever seen. Then when I got um, a little older and a little more serious about guitar, um, I got the gold top, uh, the Epiphone, and then I have a couple acoustic guitars. I got a Seagull and then I got a Takamini. And then this past Christmas, my dad was incredibly, incredibly generous and he hooked me up with the, the, the Fender Telecaster back there. And I don't think I've ever owned anything as nice. Like that's such a great guitar. So thanks Edward. Who is your favorite artist? I don't know if you can see back there, but that's Tegan and Sarah. Not just from a music standpoint, you know, in terms of being a songwriter, they're um, incredibly inspirational. Um, back when I was 18, I didn't really know what I wanted to do, what direction I was going in, who I wanted to be, and I discovered them kind of at the right time. And uh, so they've they've just been such a huge inspiration to me. I've seen them probably about like five or six times now. And yeah, they mean a lot to me. Top 10 albums. This is the greatest album of all time. Nothing else matters. Don't even at me. Actually, at me. I don't care. It's true. <laughs> Duffs or Anchor Bar? Um, well, I've always kind of been Team Duffs, but ever since Anchor Bar moved into the Burbs, I've been going there a lot more. And I'm, I still think I'm Team Duff, though. Favorite Buffalo sports moment? Oh, man. There are just so many to choose from. <laughs> My favorite Buffalo sports moment would have to be when the Bills ended their 17-year playoff drought. Uh, we were in New York City because the Sabres were playing the Rangers in the Winter Classic the next day. So on that day we went to the Bills Backer Bar in New York City, McFadden's, and oh my God, we got there early so we got a bar seat and that place was absolutely packed. Like people were coming in for hours trying to get in. And it was just so incredible. Like the, the ride of emotions that I went on that day was just absolutely insane. But the people were absolutely nuts. Um, you know, the bartenders were like dancing on the bar and like pouring alcohol down people's throats and, you know, the Bills game was stressful enough, but then they turned on the Bengals game. I just thought there was absolutely no chance that the Bengals would march down the field and do what they did. But, and then <laughs> on that fourth and 12 play when, when Dalton got that touchdown pass, like, I don't think I've ever like lost my mind more than in that moment. I couldn't believe what I was witnessing. and. So like it just everyone was just absolutely going nuts. The place was just bonkers and like I've never cried over a Buffalo sports moment and I was just like crying. I was hugging random strangers. Like it was just that kind of day. And yes, I think until um, the Bills or Sabres win a championship, that's probably gonna be my favorite for a while. Would you say that Wegmans is the best grocery store ever? I don't know how you could say that it's not. Of course it is. <laughs> what do you think we have to do to have a semi-decent team? cheer for a different team. <laughs> when will the Sabres go back to the playoffs? A, next season. B, two seasons from now. C, I hope in my current lifetime. D, what beer should I get for tonight's game? The answer is always to be thinking about what beer you should be getting for tonight's game. And the answer is always Molson. What are some of your superstitious game day rituals? Ooh, uh, so I do have one. Um, before every game I go to, um, and this is non-negotiable, there is a hot dog stand outside of the arena, like right outside the front when you walk in. And so I have to I have to go get a hot dog from that stand. It's it's tradition. I've been doing it for years and it just won't feel right if I don't do it. I go there, get a hot dog, tip the man a dollar and then I'm on my way. And yeah, that's so that's that's pretty much my one game day superstition. Of all the original songs, which one is your favorite? Uh, Jolene. Got to be Jolene. That song is awesome. All these years later, it's still a great song. Tell us about your process. My inspiration kind of comes from anywhere. So when I get inspired to write, usually I'll take a week or two to gather all my thoughts, make sure I get the song just the way I want it. And then from there I go into recording. I'm usually pretty critical of myself, so recording is probably the, 
the longest process. I just want to make sure I, I get it to sound as, as good as I can get it to sound. And then when that's done, I figure out where I want to film, drag someone out along with me. Usually it's my mom, sometimes it's my sister, and make them film me despite how much they don't want to. <laughs> and then I just have fun with it from there until it's done. But yeah, it, it's a lot of fun. What can we expect from you over the next six months? And do you have any original non-parody songs? So yeah, so this is what I wanted to talk about. Going forward, I would love to have the opportunity to start posting some original songs. You know, since I was probably a young teenager, I wanted to, to be a professional songwriter. And so if you guys are interested, I would love to hear what you guys think and I'd love to start posting some original songs. I'll still be doing the parody songs when um, I get that inspiration, but we are in for another long off season for the Savers. So in the meantime, like if, if you guys wanted to stick around and um, wanted to hear some of my original songs, I, that's been a dream of mine to be able to do that. So going forward, that's kind of what I, I want to do with my channel. So if, if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments. So hopefully uh, once the Savers season's over, I can kind of start getting into that and that would be that would be awesome all right so that is it for the q a um thank you guys for sending in the questions that was a lot of fun to do and um i will see you guys soon thanks for watching bye